This micro lecture focuses on the role of fire in forested ecosystems and uh, covers some of the different types of forest fires. Um, fire plays a very important role in forested ecosystems. Natural forest fire rotations occur every 50 years up to once every 400 years or so depending on the climate, uh, depending on the species and status of the forest and the amount of fuel loads that have built up over time that can uh, ignite due to particularly dry weather conditions and lightning strikes. The longleaf pine ecosystem in the southeastern United States is a fire dependent ecosystem that was seriously thrown off kilter uh, due to fire suppression activities that uh, man put into place uh, during the last two centuries as populations boomed and, and infrastructure and property needed to be protected. Uh, this ecosystem and the boreal forest ecosystem uh, have relied on fire to clear out the forest floor. Uh, fires in this natural system uh, provide room for new seedlings to establish and reduce weedy competition. There's three major uh, types of fire that are recognized. Surface fires are uh, the fires that are utilized in prescribed burning to uh, reset the forest floor, for instance. It uh, reduces fuel, it improves wildlife habitat by uh, encouraging the growth of, of new and more succulent shoots, but uh, these types of surface fires can damage trees if, um, if uh, a period of time goes by with repeated surface fires. This particular tree uh, in the photo went through, I think, 11 major fires and uh, you know certain tissues of wood or the wood tissues can be burned which isn't so good for uh, for lumber timber production but doesn't um, but doesn't kill the tree uh, ground fires um, are fires that burn the organic matter sometimes underground um, in areas such as peat bogs or other wetlands um, I don't know if you've seen in the news or heard in the news where uh, these fires have burned for sometimes weeks or months they're very difficult to put out uh, they typically produce a lot of smoke, and uh, which can be a problem, but are usually confined to smaller areas uh, without a lot of human habitation. Crown fires are uh, uh, a much more serious concern and cause the greatest loss of timber and loss of property. They're much more common in the coniferous forests out west because of the uh, uh, needle ignition. Um, during dry seasons, uh, the needles are very combustible. The, f uh, the fuel loads on the, on the ground under these forests uh, consist of, of, of conifer branches and, and dry needles which burn very quickly. Um, sparks from existing crown fire or from existing fires can be blown ahead of the fire and, and, and cause uh, uh, an increase in intensity. And these types of fires release a lot of energy. Um, are very very hot and in some cases can damage a site permanently or, or for a very long period of time. Uh, contrary to popular belief, uh, you know, like the movie Bambi, um, fire rarely burns up animals. There have been studies from the from the big Yellowstone fires, and and they do find some larger mammals, uh, but for the most uh, for the most part, animals are able to escape in advance of the fire and uh, these types of fires can alter the habitat for for a few years or for a few de decades depending on the severity of the fire. Uh, foraging deer and other uh, foraging animals uh, like to come into areas that have been burned after after major fires because of the succulent new growth. However, ground nesting burn, uh, birds typically have a, a harder time uh, getting uh, or finding habitat after after fires like that. Um, fires have also uh, uh, increased tourism to a certain extent. Uh, a lot of people showed up after the Yellowstone fire just to view the view the damage to see what all had what all had happened. Um, and today, the the U.S. Forest Service and the Park Service and other uh, forest management entities have recognized the importance of fire and have incorporated prescribed burning activities into their management plans. Some of the harmful aspects of fire, uh, fire can remove the surface cover and make it uh, make areas more uh, more susceptible to erosion uh, and can destroy stream habitats if, if all the cover is removed and a lot of sediment ends up in, str in streams as a result. Uh, f forest fires have been known to seriously reduce uh, fish populations through sedimentation. And uh, another major concern, especially as as um, 
as more homeowners or as the uh, economic situation for certain individuals has increased in the U.S. and properties become uh, or more valuable properties tend to be tend to be placed uh, uh, in in areas prone to uh, forest fires, there is that risk as well.